Sean Sewell here. It's part three of the mobility complex, the bonus one, hip mobility. I've been doing this drill sequence with my people for over a decade, all ages, all abilities, and it's gotten revolutionary results. And uh, if you're watching this and we work together, you know how well it works, just like the previous two videos. So uh, I cannot wait to see your feedback on this one. Again, you don't need any equipment whatsoever. You just need a little bit of space. A uh, yoga mat might be helpful, carpeted area. Heck, I'm doing it in the snow in eight degree weather. So you can do this anywhere. It's very simple. The only thing I ask of you is to stick to the good form. As always, don't cheat yourself to rush through anything. Just do it with integrity. And what I mean by that is we want all this, the force generation and strength and mobility to come from the hip complex and not the back in this one. So I will show you the correct way to do it. And then I'll show you a few variations of things that I have seen that I don't recommend. Um, just to keep an eye on yourself if you're watching this with somebody else that you're gonna be doing this with so you can help coach them safely. So the first thing we're gonna do is call a hydrant, as in a dog peeing on a hydrant, kind of fun. So again, the motion comes from the hips, not from the back. So I'll show you from a 45 and then I'll show you from a 90 to give you an idea. So I'm in the prone position here. And like I said, all the exercises come from the hip. So I'm right here. That's all there is to it, right? We're not doing some kind of crazy, exaggerated motion. We're just doing a hydrant, four and five. And I'll do one this way so you can see, keep an eye on my back. It should not really move. One, two, and then right there. So I'll do my left side now. One, two, three, four, and five. It's not rocket surgery right here. It's pretty simple stuff. Up next, I call it the donkey kick. And again, we're getting the glutes to fire here. We don't want to hook it up like you see in some fitness videos. We just want to kick straight back. If that's not enough challenge, I'll show you level two. So again, in the prone position here, good setup, kicking straight back. The glute is activated. Two, three, four, and five. It is not this. I don't know what that is. That's not what we're doing. Just kicking straight up. Left side. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Now, if that was too easy, great. The bird dog, this comes from FMS. It's a great screen. I love this one. Independent, my right leg, left arm. Boom. Two, three, four, and five. It also challenges the core. It's great. Other side, one. Two, three, four, and five. So of course, you do one or the other. You don't need to do both. Up next is internal rotation. So on my right leg, I'm gonna go counterclockwise. On my left leg, I'm gonna go clockwise. And I'll show you what I mean. Again, prone position. One, two, three, four, and five. Left leg, clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, if you're watching my back, it shouldn't have been moving at all. Now, external rotation. On my right leg, we're gonna go clockwise. Left leg, counterclockwise. One, two, three, four and five. And I always find that this is harder for people with tighter hips and especially guys. One, two, three, four and five. Awesome. The next one, we're gonna go to the ground. It is the hip raise. I'm gonna show you level one and level two. Pick your level according to your abilities. This is again to get the glutes to fire as well as the hamstrings. <clears throat> I love snow. I love snow. All right, so I'm looking for perpendicular shins. I pushed the weight to my heels. I don't want to be out here. I'm going to be right here. All right, I'm going to dig up. Glutes are firing, hamstrings are firing, and back down. Five times. Two, three, four, and five. Technique you could do is put a shoe or a yoga block right here and then hold it and squeeze that block. That works really well too. If that's too easy, we take away a leg. Boom, I'm digging in. 
This guy's not doing anything. He's not doing a dang thing. All the power is coming from my right glute. Four and five. Love those. Left leg, planted, digged. Right leg, disengaged. One, two, three, four, five. Fight the urge to use momentum. You don't want to do that, okay? Take this guy up. If you have to hold on to him to keep him in place, fine. Get him out of the equation. And there it is. The tried and true hip mobility program. Hopefully you found these three videos helpful. Share them with your friends and loved ones. Hopefully they bring you great value and joy in your life as well. Till next time, take care.